Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid, and today, as you've seen in the title, is not a Styled by Jasmine Whitley episode. It is not a Closet Raid. This is a Coachella fashion review. Best and worst looks, and just to get it out of the way really quickly, disclaimer, this is not hate. These are just my fashion opinions. Maybe you love some of the looks that I hate or like vice versa. It's fine. It's fashion. It's fun. Let's get into it. So I found some pictures on my phone and some on my laptop. So I'll be like looking at both and letting you guys in on what I think of all of the celebrity fashion looks. Okay, so I guess first of all, I have to say that there's one trend that I feel very strongly about and it's neon and I'm just not a fan of the neon trend and I've never really experienced a trend that I hate like I always thought that was like a weird question like oh like what trends do you like wish would go away because I've never really felt that but neon to me neon always looks tacky and it just looks like yeah it looks inexpensive tacky it's just a not a trend that I like and I thought we were gonna see so much neon at Coachella I was like afraid but actually it wasn't that neon infested okay so we're gonna just go out of order by the way this is just like different days um and different outfits and different people so it might not be like everyone's look from and like if you are familiar with Coachella it's like a music festival but it's also like a fashion show it's like a a fashion week because it's three days of different outfits and everyone changes for different parties and every like there's like a million things going on and people change multiple times anyway okay now let's get into it okay so I guess we'll kick it off with Shay Mitchell like Shay I love you you're probably not watching my channel her YouTube channel is insane like it's gorgeous but I don't love this look okay so this look is so Coachella basic and before you start to say like okay every like everything Coachella is basic but to me this like black crocheted fringe with the silver belt like I think it's if someone were to show me this and be like this is a picture from Coachella Shea in 2011 I would believe it like it doesn't look current it doesn't look like special or unique like she looks just like a pretty girl if you google like what should I wear to Coachella like Coachella google image you'll probably see this outfit like 38 different times and I don't love that like I think that I do I do enjoy the fact that Coachella is like very much a ground for like creatives and art and self-expression and I feel like things should be more unique and like well thought out and I just think she's just like pretty and basic but I don't love this outfit if I would have to I would give it like a rating if you guys okay should I'll, I'll do ratings so one okay from one to ten I would probably give this look like a six because it's not like it's terrible but it's just so I expect so much more like I have high standards so the next trend that I want to talk to you guys about is the whole logo mania trend that's been everywhere and like I'm all for it like a lot of people are against it just the way I am about neon but I'm obsessed with this set it's a Louis Vuitton set that Rosalia is wearing oh my gosh it's so cool and like it's fun and colorful in spring summer it's like pink and yellow and like very like tacky but in a cool way like I feel like it's like the epitome of like the cool tracksuit like and I love like the hair like the pigtails I think this is such a cool look like if I had to rate it I would give this an eight because it's still very like casual obviously everyone can wear anything because it's literally the desert so you can be in like a bikini and like jeans or you can be in like a gorgeous silk gown or bodysuit or something crazy so I just give this look what did I say? An eight? I don't know. I just like this, okay? I love this look. Okay, so the next girl we're talking about is Olivia Culpo. I'm obsessed with her. She's beautiful. I love her style, and I think that this look is, like, spot on for, like, a casual cool look. Like, it's very effortlessly cool girl. Um, she's wearing a crop that's, like, this is another crazy trend, but, like, 
the super mini crop top, like micro mini crop top where it's like you can kind of see under boob. There's only a specific, few, very few places you could wear this trend, like maybe the beach. Okay, like Coachella is one that you could definitely wear this to. I just think she rocks it in like a cool classy way, if that could ever be classy under boob, I don't know. But I love, love, love her look. I think it's like the, the other trend is like the long short. Like I think that the hit like just above the knee, like a long, long short, like so many girls shy away from that because it is hard to pull off. And I think you have to have like a certain um, figure, like just like a certain height and like shape about you because if not, it could cut you off, make you look extra short or make you look like just frumpy. She kills it. Like, I love the shoe, the fanny pop, the sunglass, the short little bob. Like, she's just, like, there being casual and just looking amazing. So, I give that look an 8. Okay, something that I have to address and talk about, obviously, since she was, like, the biggest deal, I feel like Billie Eilish was the biggest talk of Coachella, like bigger than like Ariana Grande, like the headline, like was Billy one of the headliners? I don't know. I don't know too much about like the lineup. I'm here for the fashion, but I don't get Billy's fashion because like, okay, I get like the artsy, like oversized everything, baggy everywhere kind of thing. But I feel like I wish this wasn't her look for every single occasion. I feel like I'd love to see her like switch it up um, and just be a little bit different with her style. But like, I'm not a huge fan of these glasses. They, they the shield looking glasses. Like it looks like a visor glasses, like a dad like vest, but it's Louis Vuitton. And I kind of hate that it's a Louis Vuitton print. And like, obviously I hate the neon, like, I'm just like not a big fan and like I don't I don't know like I think she's so her voice is insane like she's so creative and talented and beautiful I wish like I'd love to see her go in a different direction with fashion um I'm yeah I don't know had to talk about that I don't even know what to rate this look like a four I don't like this look Next up, the Dolan twins. I don't know much about them. I definitely know that they're like huge YouTubers and I love the floral print shirts, like silky floral print, like white um, pants and white shorts. Like I think that's such a good look and they killed it. It's like 10 out of 10, great job, love. Um, but I can't tell, I don't know who's who, but the one wearing like the pant, it looks like it should be hitting a little lower. I don't know if he like pulled it up as a joke or if like he's wearing it that high waisted. It just looks really awkward. But other than that, I think they like hit the mark and like I would say like eight out of 10. I know I'm like saving nines and tens for like my all time favorite. So don't worry. Okay, so next, <laughs> my God, my voice. <laughs> okay, so next up is Emma Radikowski. Radik, Radik, Radik. Radikowski. Is that how you say her name? Emma Radikowski. She is wearing this polka dot set on her Instagram that I'm obsessed with. I feel like you could wear polka dots with me and like nine out of ten times. Like I'll think it's amazing because I just love polka dots. Um, but I just think this is such a cute photo. She looks so hot. Um, I love this look. Okay, next up, I want to talk about Maddie Ziegler. She posted a photo with, I think, her makeup artist. And the makeup artist is wearing, like, a Fendi bucket hat. Um, 10 out of 10. Obsessed. And she's, Maddie's wearing this, like, bandana tied Dior. Like, super, like, early 2000s with, like, a high-waisted denim short. I think she looks like such a cool girl. This photo and these outfits, like, 10 out of 10 casual and cool without even trying. Like, I just love it. Like, I love it so much. If you're going to go the casual route, that's the way to do it. And then, okay, next up, we're going to talk about Alicia Marie. And she wore a look super similar to one of the looks I styled for Vanessa and Veronica Merrill. So Alicia Marie is wearing like this all black look with like lots of cutouts and it's very like edgy and kind of like, I don't know, like not superhero-y, like what's the, like Tomb Raider, like kind of just like bad, like I guess baddie, like I don't know, I 
don't know if I'd use that term to describe this, but it's kind of cool. And like, I feel like it's unexpected for her to wear something like this. So I really, really like this. Alicia Marie just killed it. And she's wearing like gloves and she committed. She's wearing gloves and she's wearing like this little garter that's like very like it's sexy it's cool I like that she did a sneaker with it I really like that look so I give her an 8 out of 10. Moving on let's talk about Emma Chamberlain's look I think she's a great creator and she's so fun and just like herself which is everyone should be that way I love that however this look is a not my favorite like I don't like the pants I don't like the choker or the glasses or the earrings I don't I don't think I like anything about this except for like how tan and like good she looks but she her outfit is like a two out of ten for me like I don't like it I don't like this look it looks I wish I could like give her a 70s like or a retro like throwbacky kind of vibey like sort of look but like in a cool current way like this almost looks like costumey like with the glasses earrings and choker I wish some like one of her friends would have been like pick one of those things like don't go with all of them um Emma also did wear these pants that had like pink fur on the bottom with like pink headband like that was like very early 2000s and I really like this look it was like black and white pants and just like a strappy kind of top big chunky boots like I think this look is sick I would give this look like an 8 out of 10 and it's really fun fun and young and very on trend and like cool okay Gigi Gigi Hadid like I love her I love her and I love her looks like this look that she's wearing like a sort of tie-dye like a long sleeved like I love this look I love the colors I love how it's very like dressy casual like it's in between both and I just love that and I think she wears it so well and it just stands out like it's so good I love it so much okay Tana let's talk about Tana so obviously her looks are going to be wild and very like naked I feel like that's like her brand and she's just out there but I don't know how I feel about like the assless like situation like shorts chops skirt I can't tell what it is but like I don't know like I feel like it's very aggressive let me pull up her Instagram because she wore a black look and okay yeah so the the black shorts with like the really aggro boots like they're very intense and the crazy like top like it's it's full crazy like I feel like it's like really definitely the only place you could ever wear this is Coachella so I guess it's like kind of appropriate um I don't know I feel like I like this is definitely one of my worst picks like I don't love this look but I feel like because she's so cool and crazy it's crazy can I take a second to just say that it's crazy how if you own it and it's like your like it's so true to you. I feel like you can literally wear anything and it looks instantly 10 times better on you because you own it and you feel it and you rock it with confidence. Like confidence is the like the key you guys like to fashion like wearing anything but with confidence elevates it so much. So anyway, we're not going to give her a rating. We're just going to say it's not something that I personally would ever pick out, but and it's very it's a, it's a lot. Okay, next we're going to talk about Kylie Jenner because obviously how could we not? I'm obsessed with her nails. I love anything stars and I know that they're neon, but I think that's exactly where people should go with neon. Like a tiny little nail detail or like a little sock or like something super simple. I think like that's the proper way to implement neon into your outfit. But anyway, this little dress I'm obsessed with, I think she, oh yeah, she does. She has like, it's like a full sparkly number with like a glove. Like I love that she did the glove. Love the mini, mini, mini bag for Coachella. No one wants to be carrying baggage. Like, no, I mean, no one wants to be carrying around like something bulky and uncomfortable. 
I just think that this is like Coachella queen, like gorgeous. The only thing I would have done differently is her hair with that outfit and like the high neck. It's too, too much, too much extension, too much hair. Other than that, obsessed 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I don't know. I don't love the hair, but I love that look. Okay, so next, obviously, we have to talk about James Charles. Like, I love him. I think he's so, he's one of the sweetest people, YouTubers, that I've ever worked with or met or anything. He's so genuine and nice, just like a nice human, like a very nice person. And sadly enough, that's like really rare to find. Um, but I really appreciate him and his looks are insane. Here's my critique. I feel like the white look is really cool. If he had pants on, I think I would have liked it way better. Um, like I love the top and I think that like the cutouts are cool. The boots are cool. Um, but like, I don't know. I don't know about just a bodysuit, even like walking around the festival. I don't know. I just don't, I feel like at some point, like you'd want to be wearing pants or shorts. Um, and then like he also did it in black on day one and then day two was the white. Yeah, like day one was like too similar to day two, but just in different colors. So I don't love that. Like, I feel like each day it should be completely different. Like one day casual, one day gown, one day like, like all over the place, like not know what to expect. But I feel like it's like, give me that same look, but in three colors. Like I, that's the only thing that I would say like, I don't love. Okay, we need to take a second for Liza's look. Liza Koshy is in a full denim fringe cutout cowboy boot look it's insane like I kind of love the fact that she just committed and it's full like Coachella fun where else would you wear this nowhere like I love 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 that she just did that and I think that it's like whimsical and fun and it's just like really cool okay Ashley Simpson you guys I'm obsessed with Ashley Simpson I feel like she looks so chic like desert chic desert desert royalty if you will I feel like she's just in this like white and gold like billowy flowy silky gown and I think it's everything like I'm obsessed with Zimmerman I just love it I love it so much and this other look she has her vans on with like a little matching set I think or jumpsuit I can't tell with like a ton of silver jewelry her hair like everything Ashley you are a 10 out of 10 I'm obsessed with Ashley Simpson's style okay we'll end it on Vanessa Hudgens shall we because she's the one who started it like she's the one who was very first ever like bohemian princess like boho coachella is vanessa hudgens like that's like what i think about like with her name to me vanessa can literally wear whatever she wants because she created like her and like paris hilton like and like all of those stars were going to coachella since like the beginning before all the hype and before it got insanely like overpopulated and crazy so she's just wearing like a classic little set in this look and I think it's so sweet and cute and like very soft and like angelic and just really pretty and whimsical and flirty and feminine and I love it like I love 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 that she's still she's not trying to like outdo herself I feel like she's there to like have fun listen to the music and just like be with her friends and like doesn't put too much thought and like obsess over it and I kind of love that up next up next we'll talk about my girls my babes um Veronica and Vanessa Merrill this is their first Coachella I think they look amazing not just because I styled them but honestly I think they're glowing I think they're having fun I think they look confident I think they look like just so beautiful Veronica in this long dress by All Saints has like two slits up the front like a very sexy cool look like these are very edgy day one we went for a very edgy batty kind of vibe like I know I hate describing it like that like batty but like it's just a very cool girl vibe and she did like the classic little bandana that's so Coachella and so fun the sleek little black booty it's like a a really perfect leather boot like a perfect leather boot and then Vanessa over here with the lace I love everyone who wore long sleeve bodysuits like long sleeves to Coachella is so chic to me so she's wearing like this lace bodysuit with white detail like it's very coordinating with her sister and we did like these like 
high-waisted shorts that are so cute with like she's like a little bit more edgy with all the belts and like the little garter and just again like the boot like I think it's just so great like it's just so fun and I love how different it is from their day two look which was very safari chic inspired it was very much more dressy than day one um the color palette was just all earth tones and nude and Veronica's wearing this gorgeous dark green silk Adriana Iglesias crop top with these little nude pinko shorts like such a look loved her hair Vanessa with the little buns like I can't get enough of this day two look Vanessa's bodysuit also by Adriana Iglesias just had like foliage and like print of like lot like tigers not lions tigers and cheetahs and like just a little mini skirt with like the true image belt like it's just like such a look and just so inspired like I really love it and I love the way that they're glowing and confident and having fun and these looks made me so happy so 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 happy loved that so much I feel like I talked about everyone let me check Instagram and see who's posted because looks are still happening you guys Okay, so this just in, Corinna posted onto her Instagram a picture that I styled her in the most perfect Coachella gown. I'm not just saying this because I styled her. 10 out of 10, one of the best Coachella looks. It's silk flowy, has movement, is so light and airy, is colorful. Like, it checks off all the perfect Coachella guideline, like, how to have the most iconic Coachella look in one photo. Like, I'm just obsessed with this look. It's by an Italian designer. Her name is Elisabetta Franchi, and her pieces are magical and dreamy, and I'm so happy that I got to place one of her designs. And Corinna literally looks like a whimsical, magical princess, and she, like, I love that she did the gems and, like, the rhinestones. I just, I'm so excited because I haven't seen any of pictures until right now so this is literally my genuine reaction it's such a good look you guys if you can see like there's little ruffles and they're lace like the details insane so underneath i styled her in a lace bodysuit and the bodysuit is from h&m and it has like a cup like a bralette and it goes and it's all lace and you can wear it with jeans you can wear it like however but like i paired it with this because it was like the perfect thing to wear underneath this gown because it's completely sheer. I'm in love with this look, you guys. Okay, I'm so happy that just happened because it just like is the perfect way to end this video. Perfect Coachella looks, some good ones, some not so great ones, but I had so much fun reviewing them all. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment down below and let me know what you think of your favorite looks of your opinions like do they clash with mine do you love some of the looks that i don't love let me know in the comments and i will see you guys next week bye